Test, 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 test. Are we live? Are we good? I think we are. Greetings, people viewing this live stream. It is I, Silaps, and hey, death row to Canada time. Except, I'm a little late, you know, from my usual time. I'm two hours late. And, well, a little over two hours late for when I usually want to start. But I got held up by a bunch of stuff, so. I'm a little behind. I know, this is so weird. Yesterday, I streamed so much earlier. And my original plan was to stream, like, early yesterday and then get a second stream in later that night. But instead, I, uh, played proximity among us with people except uh the proximity thing doesn't actually work for me so i played deaf mute among us with uh everyone else who was playing uh in proximity so that was the thing but yeah friggin so yesterday was early day today's late day so let's see what tomorrow brings but anyway we're starting off in death road to canada and we're going to be playing another solo run, but this time we're going to be using Gyro, another custom-made character at random. Basically, I was thinking, you know what? I want to have, like, some type of character where, you know, they might actually be able to solo to Canada. And I mean, I want to try doing Godfrey again, but for now... I was like, okay, let's see what some people say. And I saw a lot of people saying a really good character to have is a Surgeon Bandit. Uh, so then I was like, okay, well, I'll make a Surgeon and a Bandit. And uh, that spawned Gyro. I just picked the name Gyro at random, mainly because I saw Godfrey, and I was like, let's just make another G name. And uh, I thought Pyro, actually, because I gave him a gas mask. But basically, that's what he looks like. We're playing the normal... No, we're not. We're playing Short Trip. Because here's the thing. Uh, obviously, because I'm streaming later, I have to be more quiet. And basically, I'm just going to be trying to... This is going to be a short stream. So I'm just going to try making it to Canada a little more fast. But, um... You know, it's all good. It's all fun. It's all nice. Uh, one thing I found that's a big flaw for Gyro is the fact that he's the same as Silaps. for... Hold on. I'm in a bit of an odd position where I'm starting to get, like, kind of a creaky voice. It's weird. <clears throat> and I'm, I have, a, like, a little shake in my arm. Okay, but basically, he's the exact same as Silaps, and that's not a good thing, because as I've said in the past, Silaps, you know, really sucks when it comes to combat. And Gyro is no different. Being a Surgeon makes you so weak in this game, and your only choice is to pick something that, like, increases strength and fitness for your, uh, little, little Surgeon guy there. And, uh... Basically, he's he's very weak. <laughs> he's very weak, plain and simple. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Uh, I keep having the little sniffles and all that. I just got done eating uh, shepherd's pie uh, not too long ago. So, I mean, that was good. I'm on the wrong side. Wrong side of history. I was already in here. So we go to the door that was blocked out by everyone else. <clears throat> oh, but anyway, um, yeah, Shepherd's Pie. It was alright. I, I didn't mind it. Typically, I, I grew up not being a fan of it, but I haven't had it in years, and then had it again, and, you know, it was alright. Oh, we got a baseball bat. Thank God. Because let me tell you, every time I've done a run with Gyro... Uh, the scalpel just would not cut it. Nowhere close. So this baseball bat is going to hopefully be very effective if I don't run out and get myself, you know, beaten uh, really quick, which is a possibility. I won't just ignore that. But this is so much better than my scalpel. 
And that's every room in the building. So now we leave. We leave these. Oh, but basically, I don't know. I I don't know if I actually explained my whole point about gyro. But basically, I looked up online like who, what, what's the best combination for a character that uh can beat the game on their own. And a lot of the things I kept seeing, like, out of all the combinations were Bandit Surgeons. I'm pretty sure I said this already, actually. Uh, let's plow through them. Ah, we got them. Uh, but basically... There's no basically, that's it. <laughs> uh, but, you know, we try. We're, we're gonna try this, we're, we're doing stuff, and, uh, yes... <laughs> Yes, this is how I talk now. Uh, let's go into Yellow House. We're in Hufflepuff. And there's garbage. What else is in Hufflepuff? More garbage. And in Huff Hufflepuff, they've got... A toilet Genie? Yes. And that's it. All Hufflepuff has is gas. Listen, it wasn't even a big sum of gas. It was a very, very tiny amount of gas that you can get from almost anywhere. Gas, nope, gas, nope. Ba -ba -ba. Why would there be gas in that? Why would there be gas in a toilet? You might be thinking, like, why am I saying gas for these? Like, that's, you don't find gas in that. Well, what sense does it make to find gas in a toilet? I don't know. There's a dead dog over there. Man, thank god we don't have dogs on this team. This team of a singular person trying to just get by on his own. Through whatever uh, means necessary. Because really, that's what you do. This guy's a bandit. He just... His past is terrible. He's just not gonna get far. He can't even carry a chair out of a, uh, out of a building. That's how that's how far it's gone. Uh, we have a butter knife now, and now we're gonna trade that for a cleaver, which is so much better. Now we're gonna hit you, missed. Hit you. Uh, any rooms? No. We'll go down here. <clears throat> butter knife. Uh, more little bits of resources. Another cleaver that could be useful. I could go drop off the one cleaver I have and come back. Because I'm probably not going to be checking all the other places. I'm probably just going to be checking those and, and bailing. And I think that might actually just be all the places anyways. So let's do this. Drop off the cleaver and get another one. Because the thing I find uh, the most difficult... When it comes to Death Road to Canada is... Or Death Road to Canada, like, surgeon types. Uh, or just, you know, these medical guys who just, you know, exist. Is, um... They always have a problem with weapons. Like, every weapon has to break. Every weapon has to do, like, nothing because they're all weak. And it's like... It sucks, so you've got to plan ahead for that. I'm not even going to go to the trunk right now. I'm going to just drive off. But yeah, it's a bit it's a bit funky. Uh, figuring it out. Who cares if you're tired? Just keep swinging your weapon all the time, or at all times. That's a terrible idea. No sleep. Bum bum. Uh, demand six food. Okay, let's pay the toll, because we can spare six. Ten is a bit excessive, but six we can do. It's always worth trying to loot a place, or else we could starve. That's true. Another thing I kept seeing about bandits is the fact that, you know, they're able to just rob, like, so much stuff. Uh, the only problem with that is, like, you can get hurt trying to rob people so it's like i i really don't want to rob people if i don't have to but it'd still be good hold on does somebody here have a weapon because if somebody here has like a really good weapon i could sick these zombies on them hold on 
Uh, that person's got a cowboy rifle. That person's got nothing. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, it's just a person with a cowboy rifle, because I don't think anybody outside has anything very good. Uh, well, I think it was just the one person. Yeah, they've just got food. Don't really need food. I'm gonna go drop off my scalpel and cleaver, though, because, again, really, any type of weapon is a good weapon when you're playing with, like, a surgeon type. Why am I holding my bat like that? That was weird. But yeah, basically any any weapon I can get is a good weapon. So a fork, a spoon, a butter knife, whatever it takes. Hey, buddy. Oh, I didn't even notice there was a normal knife here. Yeah, you come after me. Come after the pretty pony. You've got it, guy. You can make it. Oh, hey, buddy. You're about to get cornered by, like, Two zombies. So, uh, see ya. Yep, there he goes. No, oh, no, he's just getting backed into a room. Oh, there goes his health. Oh, oh there, th there they go. Okay, bye, buddy. Have fun. Have a good day. Yep, sick him. Back him into a corner. Take him out. Oh, you're letting him get out. I mean, if he's gonna keep running out, maybe I could push, like, this couch up. Is that gonna fit? That may not fit. Oh, it fits. Okay, good. Uh, but first I need you to kind of, you know, get him back into a room. That way I can then, you know, push this over there. Oh, never mind, you're all good. Now, the only problem is that guy was completely unarmed. Oh, wait, can I talk to him still? Because he has the bullet. Oh, not anymore. Um, I mean, he has it again, but... But now I'm thinking, uh, the problem with people with weapons, because we only have the two zombies, we don't have any more. Uh, I don't think they're gonna be able to beat this person who has the gun. Because, like, right now they're holding it so you know the gun is completely unloaded. But they can still smack it. And that's a lot more effective than hitting them with, like, a basic punch. A basic character punch that isn't, like, big bruiser martial artist punch. Excuse me. Actually, I should really try picking up this guy's corpse before they eat it. Just so I can... Oh, I'm too weak to pick up the corpse. Never mind. Well, there you go. Now that you guys are all fueled uh, from eating up that guy, maybe you can help me out with getting this person? Hey, eh? Yeah, I'm gonna hide behind this box. You guys get him. Get him. Yeah, get that person. Get that person. Uh, you just... One of you is already dead. Whatever, I'm gonna try boxing them in just in case... They try to do anything funny. Boom. Okay, good luck. Good luck in there, person. You too, zombie. You need the luck. Otherwise, it's game over. I really need that cowboy rifle, though. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, he died. Well, you suck. Ah, uh, butter knife. Ba, ba, ba. Hold on, if this is a toilet genie, ah, oh, if that was a toilet genie, I would literally, just so I could get that cowboy rifle, because that would be so beneficial to my run, uh, I would summon the toilet genie, and instead of going for something smart like food, I'd be like, um, are you an evil genie? And then he'd summon a big horde of zombies. And it'd just be awesome because then I could just, uh... Lure all the zombies after that person, have them eat them up. And then run with what I can get. Now, what's my food situation? I have 12 food. Do I rob this person? 
Sees a man standing near an SUV. Do you have any spare gas? I'm running low. He offers to give you two cans uh, of food for every 25. Oh, this could be bad if I do it, though. I'm gonna see what happens. Oh, nice. Okay, nothing nothing bad happens. It's only positive. Okay, ne I'll know for next time. If I if I want to steal something, maybe it's okay if it's if it's you know, like a basic person looking looking for food, gas, and all that. Uh, wait, what? Why is that person back in the prompt? They we left them right. Hold on, we didn't accidentally yeah we didn't accidentally recruit anybody, so why are they in the prompt? Uh, this city is covered with hordes of the undead. Uh, and wreckage that has been touched by a previous fire. Uh, Gyro gets surrounded, and his only chance is sprinting through the sewers. Of course, that's how it always goes. My hair is in my face. Hold on. Long hair troubles when wearing a hat. Sometimes your hair will just fall in your face. And you gotta tuck it back into your hat. Or try sending it to the sides. Anyway. Let's see what you can do, Gyro. You've gotta make it through the sewer. Where's the door? There's the door. This is gonna be much easier because I don't have anybody I have to worry about. But I could still slip up and die. And that would suck. <laughs> Do I go meat cleaver? Oh, I did not mean to shine that light in your faces. Okay, well, that could cause more problems later. Hold on. No. Fuck. I didn't want to actually take a damage. I was thinking, hey, you know what? I'll take the risk. And then I look in the room and I evaluate it. And I'm like, okay, I... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, wow. That bat really lasted me. No, but, uh, I was thinking, oh, okay, I'll be able to get through this, it'll be fine. Uh, it's such a small, like, little bit that I don't think the zombie would be able to take my damage before I could get out of the way. But no, no, that was it. That's all that happened. I just, I got hurt. Uh, my medical should already be good, so I really need that strength buff. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just because I'm tired that I have that strength. Uh, hobble around. No, because our loyalty sucks and it's a loyalty check. Even if we're just by ourselves, it's a loyalty check. Also, I'm about to die. Maybe I should have gone for medical. <laughs> uh, extremely annoying. Oh no. Uh, this is a composure check. Oh, <laughs> right. Okay. So, we have to take a detour because I'm pretty sure we'll die otherwise. Rolls up his sleeves and we're out of gas, but I mean, we barely add any, so I guess it wasn't a total loss. Oh, more paying tolls of food. Gyro, you just have the worst luck, buddy. But we can try to get you through this, hopefully. Oh, we need that medical check, though. We need lots of medical medical uh, buffs if we want to get through this. Because I've also found every time I've played with Gyro, um, I find absolutely no... Excuse me, absolutely no medical supplies whatsoever. And it really bothers me. Excuse me, because it's just, like, why is there no medical supplies, like, at all? It doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna take this iron and I'm gonna check in here. Okay, we've gotta hurry because there is a swarm just outside the door and it's coming in. Oh, come on, go through. Okay, there we go. Medical? Yes, good. Awesome, I love it. 
I need medical supplies right now. Because otherwise I'm a dead man. I mean, I could be a dead man with a single slip-up, but, uh... You know, I can, I can hope that I don't slip up and I manage to pull through. But there's always that possibility. Oh, yeah, like there. I could have died right there. And that would have been the end of the run. Probably the end of the stream. Because I'm thinking... Uh, with it being the late night, probably not gonna stream for too long. But, uh... Oh, jeez, I keep running into things. But I'm trying to adjust my hand. Because I keep holding my tablet in a weird way when I try to play this. Uh, crowbar. Yes, please. I have a meat c uh, cleaver in the car, so I'll take that. And, uh... Oh, hey, the keys. Nice. Okay, bam. I think I'd be better off using the iron. I don't think I'm quite fit enough for crowbar. Okay, time to push the car, which is very unnecessary, but I do it anyway because I can. Uh, and here we go. Ba 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 ba. Da 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 da. Oh, hey guys. Uh, coming through. Pardon me, thank you. You guys are just all bundled in a corner. Making this easy for me. I'm gonna gloat a lot because it's just, it feels like what Gyro would do. It's just what I've gotten from his character. You know, the low loyalty guy who brags. Do we have enough? Yes, we have enough. Uh, this car isn't going blah blah blah. Oh wow, we actually have terrible medical. Uh, lost safe house is our best bet. For now. Also, my hair really keeps falling in my face and it keeps hindering my view and I hate it. I could tie my hair back, but I don't want to. It's so late, I don't care. <laughs> I mean, I do care, but not as much as I would otherwise. Okay, we've got bullets, we've got a gun. Okay, good, looking good. Don't want to fire the gun, though, because- Oh, no, I have to make- Ah, I dropped my iron for this. Hold on, I wanna- Bam. I'm leaving the scalpel. The scalpel is gonna get me nowhere. Well, no, it did get me somewhere, but I mean, it's not gonna be worth it in the long run. Okay, I'm gonna do something very risky here, and I'm gonna back myself into a corner. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, figured as much. Okay, yep, 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 okay. How long have I been streaming for? I actually have no way to check. I think it's only been, like, 15 minutes-ish. Maybe longer. You know, it kind of sucks, but again, it is, it is a bit later at night, and I do have to be quiet. Uh, do I raid somebody right now, or do I keep playing? Nah, I've got to end it now. It's not that I really want to, it's because I, I ran behind on time, and I want to last a little bit longer, but... Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna end it. Because I, I have other stuff I can do right now, uh, after, so... Uh, nobody came out. So I'm not thanking anybody, but hey, if you're in the VODs channel, uh, thank you for coming by. Thank you for watching my VOD. Uh, but otherwise, we're gonna find somebody to raid. Who well, obviously we haven't raided before. But, uh, you know, I always prioritize Death Road to Canada people. So who is playing Death Road to Canada? See, the thing is, a raid, like... Sometimes you'd think a raid isn't really worth it because, you know, I don't have any viewers, so who cares? But no, we actually have the ability, like, it's a host, I've noticed. So it's like, okay, I'll do, I'll do that. Uh, okay, I've raided One Life More, so it's between, uh, Festival of Pooh. And Catman Act 2. Hold on, what's this one looking like? Is that a Detroit picture they have? Like, north from Detroit? I don't even see their thing working, actually. They said something about Castlevania practice. Gonna take some points. Uh, 
Records. Let's do this. Some Death Road to Canada. Hold on, gotta do this again just to make sure it's all loaded up. Uh... No, I don't want the black screen of death. Give me visuals. Please? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's not giving me vi visuals. I guess I've got to reset, see if it's still up. It is still up. Oh, now I have a viewer. Well, hello, we're about to raid. It was a very short stream. I guess we'll raid the Festival of Pooh person, because... Oh, wait, the other person might be working. Yep. Hold on. Uh, this guy's got seven. So I'm thinking we'd be fair, we go for this one, unless it's a black screen again. There we go. Okay, uh... Actually, hold on. Just want to make sure... Okay, they're both... I was going to say, if the other one has more tags, though, maybe. But anyway, yeah, we'll, we'll raid, uh, Catman Act 2. Because why not? Slash raid. Catman. Was it Mark 2? Hold on. Act 2. Got it. Uh, raid. Catman. Act 2. Well, uh, thanks for coming to the stream, one person, but... You came at a bad time because I had to do a short stream and ended it fairly quick. But, uh, thanks for coming out, and goodbye. Uh, enjoy the raid if you stick to it, but if not, that's perfectly fine, and goodbye.